<laughs> okay, go ahead. But you have people who did have AIDS or the HIV virus, such as Magic Johnson, who no longer have it anymore. Prayer and you supplication. Have, it's who? Prayer and supplication. It's called money. Well, that's not what he said. He said he was healed. I he understand, healed. but I'm, t I'm saying it's called he has So you say the rich people man. have the as long as you have, Because I'm going to tell you this. As long as you're sick or I'm sick, we keep the world going around. You're being sick pays the doctor who pays the pharmacist who pays the this who pays the that. If I heal you, I have no money. So it's, it's better for me to keep you sick. It's better for the government to keep you sick than it is to make you well. The United States is the only country that we deal with as, as much obesity as we do, as much disease and famine, uh, it's ridiculous. And if you look at military standpoint, when they teach you how to take over a world to control something, it's through food and water. All these man-made, the swine virus, the swine flu, pig flu, bird flu, to me, swine is was not man-made. It wasn't. It was a cross-pollutant cross <coughs> of people that were working closely with animals. And for, and for y'all information, <laughs> I googled this last night. Okay. The swine flu influenza goes from particularly swine to swine, to pig to pig to pig to pig. With no harm. But understand that every disease can mutate. And it you understand what I'm saying? It mutates so that if some person is subject to it on a regular basis, then of course you're going to pick it up and whatever you have may mutate this virus so that we as humans right. can get it and pass it on to another human. Yeah. Now which I don't know that it is regular and common in Mexico and North Carolina. Google it. Google.com is great. I Google everything. So Google. you honestly Google. don't believe AIDS, West Nile virus and stuff. You don't believe in man-made diseases to pop for population control. I don't believe that, the, that those particular ones were. I don't know whether or not I believe that they could be. I don't mean, I can understand how they could be, mm -hmm. but I don't particularly think that those are. Yeah. And Magic Johnson still has AIDS or HIV, yeah, whatever. He, 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 this man just takes care of himself because he got money. He takes, he eats well. I don't know him personally, so. Get my personal opinion, the man eats well. He exercises, he does what he has to do, just like a person with cancer. If they eat well, and they do everything they're supposed to do, when their cancer goes into remission, chances are it will not come back. As, as bad as they had it before. It's just us putting the chicken wings down with all the grease dripping off of it, stopping it up with a biscuit and all. That's where obesity comes from. We want to blame it on a lot of things, but it's, come on now. Now, I do believe that they, they do add hormones into chicken. Yeah, look at my 12 year old son at 6 feet down. Look at all my arms in that stuff. That's why these children be having book. Ooh, that leads me to another question. Oh my goodness, she got another question. What? Oh, hey. God, it's number six. That, I'm, I'm going to hit you with that one. But no, I don't particularly think that um, AIDS is a personal attack. But I don't know. Maybe I live in utopia. So. <laughs> yes, ma'am? You have a question? Say hi. Yeah. Say hi. <laughs> That's my sweetie. That's my baby CC. All right, we have three and one and six. Number one, please. Number one is, do you believe that people are born gay? I knew that was one of her questions. Of course it was going to be. I don't know. I don't know. I believe that, um, I, I personally believe that some people are born with a predilection towards homo homosexuality, meaning that it's more, it's more positive possible than not but I, I really don't know I don't know I do honestly I have been thinking lately that some of the um, the openness about homosexuality like in high school and stuff like that has led some of the children who I think probably who might not be gay to be experimenting more freely and more openly as a fad as part of a fad um, but that's a very temperamental, that's a touchy subject to right. hit on because I don't want to discriminate against any of my babies. I don't want them to feel like, you know, I'm picking on them because they're gay or they're not gay or whatever the thing is. But I do feel like there has become like a, a fad of it homosexuality, has. particularly among the girls. Exactly. But I don't know. And I don't know how um, I don't know how that's going to play out. I guess we'll see in like 10, 15 years as right. they grow up whether or not they're actually. It was it was actually told to more. me on um, another social networking. I'm gonna keep that to myself because I don't want to feel like I, I'm picking on someone. Mm. That with me being 29 and I came out in 20 and when I was 27, that I was not born gay and therefore I'm not a real lesbian. 
per se. Um, Who gonna tell you? Because because, because she said that because I didn't play with GI Joes and had an epiphany, I was a clear blue sky like I was playing with GI Joes because I'm the lesbian. No, that's I like. Come on, we girls know that all the boy toys were always the more fun toys. <laughs> Barbie didn't have the parachute like G.I. Joe did. <laughs> Joe didn't have the pink convertible that broke the minute you dropped it on the floor. You know what I mean? No, he had a Jeep. He had, he had a Jeep. And they could get another one. So, I yeah. mean... But I don't think that there is any stereotypical condition or precondition that needs to exist for you to decide whether or not you accept your own gay or lesbian identity. Right. I think that that's unique to you and private and personal to you. And some some of the babies out there that haven't been able to come out, right? Um, who who are gay and who right. would like to come out, are, are not coming out because of the the lack of trust of the right. people that that surround them, and because of the fear of of ostracized ostracized being ostracized. <laughs> How about that? I just changed it all together. The fear of being ostracized, or um, or just just all of the hate mongering that goes on. It seems like. It's more courageous to me to come out than right. it is to stay quiet about it because you have to stand for so much. You have to stand for, you know, I don't have to stand for who I am. Let's just accept it. I'm, right. You know, I am who I am. And that's but, it. You know, but, you know, a lot of people, depending on how they were raised in their families, were not exposed to a lot of homosexuals mm -hmm. as, as with me. Mm -hmm. At 20, if a girl came on to me, it would have been on a packet. You would have beat her up? I would probably fought the girl. But at the same token, you have to understand, my parents sheltered me. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And homosexuality was not a topic that we discussed. When I was in elementary school, Catholic school, high school, junior high school, I did not really learn about it until I actually started working at the airport. And you were an adult by then. By then I wasn't an adult. You know what I mean? So then I got, ex I was exposed to it and was just like, well, I like this. And I, I, got, I got stuck. By then I had to have four chairs. Oh, but can I ask you this? Did you fall in love? Did you fall in love with the person, or did you did you fall in love with the person, or did you fall in love with, or did you make the decision to become a lesbian? Lesbian? Did you fall in love with the person and then decide in order to be with this person I have to be a lesbian? It was or not? It was a little bit of both actually, okay. simply because the first girl that I was with, if you would have left it up to the actual. Acts or the sexual activity, I would have went back and got back with my that baby daddy. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. That so that goes for the physical, but the next female that I met, mm -hmm. she was down to earth. We we had to say a lot of things in common, and we worked in the same area, and she put it down. So, <laughs> Y'all probably you know, want to go, don't you? No, it was it was like it was the whole package. It was the whole package because, mind you, even if the sex was good, if she was a crappy person, I wouldn't be able to deal with her because I don't judge people based on their sex or how how they do any. It's just how they talk to me. I was born. If you respect me, I'm gonna respect you back. I don't hang around people that have a lot of drama. So therefore, it was just the person. Mm -hmm. I fell in love with the so person. With the person. So it wasn't just. So oh, maybe you, maybe you're asexual. No, that would be no sexual at all. Yeah, frogs um, do. Like, yeah, frogs no. do that. Okay, so that's not it. Mm -hmm. Bisexual? Not really no, bisexual. Because you don't to be, go back. I don't. Mm -mm. Okay. So okay, asexual means no sex. That's right. Um, it's no, like the non-sex. Yeah, like. are the ones who, if there's a group full of females, there's one that will change into a male. That's asexual. That's asexual. They could be what they need to be. Because flowers do that. Flowers yeah, do that. Yeah, flowers are asexual. Okay, so not so flowers much. Flowers and frogs. Asexual. Not so much with the asexual. If you're taking notes, flowers and frogs, asexual. <laughs> <laughs> so, but not bisexual. Not so bisexual. at this point, lesbian. Lesbian, rainbow rocker, all day long. See my cheeks? Oh my goodness, with the <laughs> rainbow rockers. All day long. Okay. And that concludes that question. Did y'all notice that I turned the question off?